Ladies and gentlemen, four tiki drinks, okay? Let's start off with the Blue Hawaiian, all right? We can start with some ice, vodka. I know some of y'all go, wait a minute, is vodka in a tiki drink? Some recipes have vodka, some don't. We love to double up on booze, so let's put vodka and rums. Hit it with some sweet and sour, followed by some pineapple juice. Come behind that with my boy, Mr. Blue Curacao. Shake, 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 shake. Get a tiki glass, pour the ice in, and guess what? With these tiki glasses, one side smiling and one side's angry. It's, it's, it's super cool. Okay, now we garnish pineapple cherry, put a little flower in just to get the hair right, okay? You always want flowers in here. Brings out your eyes, okay? Good, so that's blue wine. Next up is our strong boy on the market, Mr. Zombie. This is not the original recipe from way back when. This is just a common recipe used nowadays, okay? So there are tons of zombie, there are tons of recipes for all these drinks out there. Dark rum, fresh squeezed lime juice, okay? Notice the amount of booze in here. Pineapple juice, beautiful, beautiful. Orange juice, and now we can give this a nice shaking. Shake, 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 shake. Pour it into our glass with ice. You could build this in the glass, actually. You don't necessarily need to shake this. So you could build this in the glass if you wanted to. Come behind with some grenadine. But we're still not done. You know what's missing? More rum. That's right. 151 on top of this bad boy, okay? Zombies are one of the most potent drinks on the market. If you mix it right, it's even stronger like the Long Island and Adios and all those boys, okay? This one right here is king. Next up is Painkiller. This is typically made with Pussel's rum, okay? Pussel, we didn't have you on the market right now, so I just used some dark Jamaican rum orange juice, pineapple juice, beautiful, followed up by some cream of coconut, and we shake, 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 and that's our delicious mix. It's real fun, it's real delicious, okay? Especially if you make it with, with pussers, okay? Pour that bad boy in. We grate some nutmeg on top, stick a little umbrella in the coconut, okay? And we put a little straw in, a little bamboo looking straw, and it's good to go. Okay, last but not least, we have the lava full. And this is a really, really fun drink, okay? Because a lot of signs take in place here. You know your boy went to MIT, right? Graduated top of my class. I don't mean to brag, I'm joking, I didn't go to MIT. Never even drove past it. One drive past it one day. Anyway, blend, 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 blend. Pour, pour that mixture in. Okay, we only poured a third of the way full, and that original mixture is the only one that has alcohol. So the second part that we're blending has no alcohol in it. It's just ice, banana, pineapple juice, okay? Followed by some cream of coconut, which we blend up right now. And by not putting alcohol in there, what you get is a liquid that's a lot more dense than the original. So it causes the first liquid to rise up the way lava would from a volcano, okay? That's kind of awesome. That's a little science lesson for the day. If you wanna see an active volcano, Pacaya in Guatemala, or go to Hawaii, they have an active one there. I forgot, what, what, uh, what's the big island called? Kona Island or something? I can't remember, but I've seen it before. All right, so there you have it. Four cool tiki drinks. Delicious, I suggest you try them all. With the um, with the one in the coconut, the painkiller, we put it in the coconut, the original recipe doesn't call for coconut, but I mean, if you have a coconut at home, saw it open, you can put it in there, but you can mix that in a regular glass, okay? You don't need to do anything fancy, and be careful with that zombie. That would put your hair on your chest, ladies. Okay, so watch out. Stay tipsy.